Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, a space where tech and latest with artificial intelligence is being discussed pretty often. Well, today I have got a revolutionary AI platform which helps you build web applications on React, Angular and other frameworks with no hassle. Your development, your testing and deployment is all taken care by this particular platform. This is a phenomenal platform which eliminates the hassle or overhead of building web applications. You have been seeing web applications all your life, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, all the applications you have been using are nothing but web applications. What if I say that all the ideas you had in your head can be converted into a web application and you don't need to know anything with respect to coding or how to deploy. All you need to have is a proper idea which you want to scale and convert into a web application. Well, with no further delay, I want to invite you to this demo where you will be taking home a decent understanding about how you can build web applications using this phenomenal platform. With no further delay, I want each and every one of you to try this particular uh, demo and build something which you like and also share with me what is that this helped you with. And I'll see you in the demo. Let's go. Well, before we jump into a demonstration of how you can use Bolt, let's try to understand what is Bolt and what are its features and what does it bring to the table as such, which can be helpful to anyone. You could be a layman who doesn't understand anything about artificial intelligence. And you should be able to build something using these AI platforms. Well, Bolt also is one such AI platform which is designed to simplify the entire life cycle of a web application development. In the sense, to build a web application, you need to know nothing about coding, but still you should be able to convert your idea into a web application. You might be building a simple app, like just a to-do list, or a completely complex multi-page application. Bolt promises to cut down your development time significantly, right? So. It is built on modern frameworks. It has a very beautiful interface. We'll see that, right? From the feature standpoint, something which stands out is automatic code generation, which means if you are not doing the coding for your web application, someone is, which is what Bolt offers. It generates the code for you. It automatically tests your code and the deployment is just in clicks. You can just do one click deployment to your desired platform could be AWS, anything, any platform as such. Well, let us also see how we can do that. Generating web applications with Bolt requires few things. What is it? You need to be clear about what you want to achieve. Could be a tracking application which tracks certain inventory or could be an application which you are trying to build for an e-commerce website. The AI code generation happens automatically, but the kind of requirements you give in matters or builds an external skeleton or an outline or a blueprint for that web app. What functionalities do you expect from that? What is the user experience you want? All these are key features which you we need to key in in terms of for Bolt to understand what it has to build. And once the AI code generation happens from Bolt, you can customize or add your changes on top of it if you require or if you want to do any changes as such. Or else you can use it out of the box and it should work like a charm. Testing these applications which you are building on Bolt is very easy because Bolt automatically executes a uh, different set of test cases, unit tests on top of that code, any bug detection, it automatically does that. And you can also plug in to any CI CD pipeline, which ensures that the code moves from one spot to other spot or one environment or other environment seamlessly. So all these are something which Bolt automatically provides you with. Well, deploying it also, as I said, is a one click deployment. You can choose the platform could be AWS, 
Amazon Web Services, Azure, Google Cloud, your desired cloud platform is something you can choose and you can deploy it. The deployment is automated and you can monitor it and scale. For example, you deploy an app, all of a sudden you have huge influx of users. You can monitor it and you can scale it on demand and all that can happen on the fly and we'll be seeing how we can do that as well. Well, integrating these uh, the bold applications with modern frameworks is a cutting cutting through or like you know you can say a very nice feature which bold provides it seamlessly integrates with features for react even on beta versions of react it can uh, pull features from that and integrate in your web application angular vuejs all these frameworks are something which are so ideal to build applications using bold and we'll be using one of these frameworks to build a demo. With no further delay, let us jump into our demo and understand what exactly can be built with Bolt from a simple application and see if this benefits us. Just look up for Bolt. Dot new in your browser search click on the first link which is bolt.new this should bring you to this page where you can give a prompt and start developing but before that i would say click on the get started option here and if you haven't signed in you can use your github account if you already have but if you don't have you can click on don't have an account create one here give your email Choose a username, password and password confirmation, sign up and you should be getting an email to confirm your email ID and your registration. Just click on that and you should be brought back to this page and all you can do is sign in with the username and password you have chosen. I have already saved mine because I have already generated that. Let me just jump into the system. Let me click on sign in. This should bring me to something. A window which looks like this here if you see uh, I can create a new project from the templates right or let me click on this bolt dot new if you see it brought me back to the browser and let me now once we have signed in let us try to build our requirement like we said we need to be very clear in terms of what we want to build right so to give that i have already pre-built my uh, description or the requirement the prompt which i want to give for this particular uh, you know application demo application and i'll show you what exactly i want to do uh, let me show you that let me paste that here all i'm trying to do is i want to build a recipe app all I want to do is I want to create a recipe web application which, call, which is called as Quick Recipes. The app should have the following features. The home page, like, like every app, it should have home page, recipe cards. Each card should display the recipe image, title, short description, a search bar to search something, a recipe detail page where you can look at details of the recipe, ingredients list and stuff like that. All this is English. Someone who knows English should be able to do that. Just notice that I want to make this as a simple and responsive design suitable for mobile and desktop, which means I want to build for both mobile and desktop. And I want to use React as the framework and to deploy this app on Net uh, Netlify and with one click deployment. All I'm saying is whatever I want, I have just put down that with plain and simple English. What is that I want to achieve as part of this uh, particular web app and to generate this prompt you can use any other ai tool i have used chat gpt to generate this which gave me a prompt which i can use here for this simple app so the app is called quick recipes all i have to do is give this and just hit on this icon and now if you see it is going to build that just look at how the magic is happening. I'm not doing anything. All I gave is a prompt. And if you see on the left hand side, it is telling it is creating quick recipes app. First, it is doing creating initial files and then it's installing dependencies. All this is not something which I want to know. 
or which I need to know, but the Bolt AI platform itself is doing each and every piece of this for me. It is creating, it is installing some files, it is creating uh, a recipes.ts file, it is also creating another TSX file. All these are React related files which are being built on the fly. All this coding is happening by AI. I'm doing nothing here, literally nothing, guys. This is like really, really a breakthrough in terms of building web applications. All of us have ideas which we want to convert into a solution, a web app. So if you see, it literally did this. All these tasks is what it has performed. It has created all these uh, code using React and it has built all these packages and installed some dependencies. It's done. So it is telling uh, start to start the application, you have to do uh, npm run dev and you know, you should be good is what it is telling. So let us see if it has, it is doing this, like while we are talking, the development server is now running, you would, what would you like to do? Uh, de if, you, if you want me to deploy, it's asking me if, if I have to deploy this. So if you see right now, let us preview this. Let me refresh this. It's taking a few minutes. It's just been like, you know, a couple of minutes since we have started it and you know, it is deploying it right now. I'm feeling like it is loading it. Looks like it's almost done, let us see bolt so it's telling it is running the development environment is up and running it's ready on 5173 let us look for the link where it tells start application uh, so it tells start the run uh, the development application let me click on the start wow so this is something which got built without me doing anything guys like you know let us just try to see the recipe for this classic margarita pizza this is the details page which we told we want against each and every recipe and it has been built mediterranean salad i can look up for that perfect now if you want to modify stuff here you can do that as well you can go to the code here and if you want to modify stuff uh, you can go in here or you want to modify the details page you, you can go in here and you can do that on the home page you want to modify something you don't like a certain image you want to replace that image you can go here and you can do that all these are as simple as that but for me whatever it has generated looks really cool without putting any piece of code here if i am able to do this avocado so I don't think the search is looking up for the entire piece of information online, but let me look for, yeah. So if I am looking for anything which is already available, for example, a local directory, which is associated with this app, I'm able to find that the search also is working. The detailed, this is a very simple app we built without using zero piece of code. Well, now that we have built it, also, we want to see is if you try to access this outside, I don't think it would work like, you know, anyone other than me, because this is running on my local host, not everyone can access it. So it is telling me once the development got over, which was within minutes, it's asking me the development server is now running. Would you like to deploy it to Netlify, Netlify, which means you can deploy this to production just by one click. How would you do that? You can download this application if you want, put it on your GitHub and share this repository. Along with that, what you can do is you can deploy this. Just click on deploy this button and see what happens here, deploying this application. Right now it is just running on localhost. Once we deploy this, the expectation is this should be running anywhere on the internet. Let us see if that's doable. So now if you see, Good. So we see that there's an unexpected error 520 response was received from server. Let us see how we can, you know, address that. Let's understand what is this issue and let's see how we can, you know, address that. Perfect. I just gave deploy the application again. Now it should be deploying it again and we should be able to see how we can push this to Netlify. So, so it, if you see here, it is deploying it to Net, Netlify. And once that step is over, I can click on start application and this should put my application online. Let us see how it works. Well, after we initiated the deploy, we saw some error again, we told just deploy this application. And then if you see, I didn't do anything. 
all it has done is it has done npx white build which means like it's building the application on this netlify server and then it is doing deploy to netlify now let me say open the website or start the application anything should be fine or let us do so here it is telling your site has been successfully deployed you can view it at this particular endpoint so if you see here if i click this endpoint i should be able to see the app on internet running and anyone who has access to this uh, link should be able to see that let me just click on this this app is already on internet guys like just in minutes within 15 minutes we were able to discuss about this topic and we have put this entire application on internet if you go back and see all it is saying is to transfer this netlify project to your own account you can use this claim url in the sense you can claim this app and make it your own proprietary you can put a copyright you can build your solution put a copyright on this and you can publish this on product hunt and you can pitch this to any of your investors whatever cool idea you have there are so many ideas you can build around this deploy this application and you know use this platform to convert all those fantastic ideas you get every time you go to bed to into action and you can have a web app running on the latest frameworks like react angular and vue.js it could be a solution which you can use and you can you know uh, utilize this platform to the best of your abilities i'm hoping this is giving you a clear understanding of what you can achieve with bolt this was one sample app we built today from scratch within minutes of time. Just imagine developing such application from scratch, the amount of time it's going to take just to bring out this beautiful UI, simple and, you know, so uh, elegant UI, right? Well, with that said, let's head towards the closure of today's video. Well, the future of web app development is so nice because so many advanced AI features are coming in using which you can convert all those ideas into practical web applications and solutions. And there is expanded cloud integration like you can integrate into a wide range of operations with this platform. Mobile app development is going to take go through a huge leap of advancement. And of course, you need to make sure all these apps are secure. So you need to also make sure these web apps uh, get some advanced security by using this AI features and making sure that no data gets uh, corrupted or misused. So this was a quick video today to help you understand how you can leverage Bolt in your day-to-day -day life to build fantastic web applications. Well, if you like this, uh, please do comment on what is the idea you implemented using this. Please try this out and give a shout out to my channel and share it with your friends so that everyone can understand and leverage this and make good use of it. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.